done haikus, we've done roses or red poems. But yesterday, I asked you for your best limericks. Do you even know what a limerick even freaking is? Here are your limericks that I'm seeing for the first time. There once was a man from Columbus who sat all day playing Among Us. <laughs> he was never outside. He grew quite large and wide. Over time, he resembled Big Chungus. I never thought I'd laugh again at a Big Chungus punchline, and yet here we are. This is a terrible idea, executed flawlessly, well done. And four million yai tokens for rhyming Columbus with the Mungus with Big Chungus. A film once made huge revenue. The box office records broke through. Yet through many Septembers, nobody remembers. So good luck on Avatar 2. Tis true, very hard to get excited for a sequel about subject material we have long since forgotten about. I heard the aliens are bluer this time, and now their tails really connect. That's something I remember. No one ever memes the tails connecting. Wait, was it, oh my god, was it tails or the hair? I literally don't remember anymore, okay, that's why. Anywho, great film, very excited for the four sequels coming. I heard that Avatar 2 really sets up Avatar 3, which does a lot of world building for Avatar 4, which sets the stage for Avatar 5. Please, I know where this is going from the first freaking line. Please don't call me up to the board. My mind consequently implored, <laughs> but hiding my face <laughs> emphasized my disgrace. And as I stood, teacher was floored. <laughs> Probably because of the tent you're pitching. There aren't enough poems about boners. Or maybe there are, I just haven't found them. There once was a man who liked porn. He also enjoyed eating corn. He thought it sublime were the two to combine. And that's how cream call. <laughs> oh no. That's a very good dirty limerick. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get any today. It's hard enough to write a regular limerick, let alone a dirty one. Oh, I will proudly scream this one at my family's next uh, St. Paddy's Day pub crawl. We actually have a tradition of um, writing original limericks every St. Patrick's Day. The dirtier the better. <laughs> Your parents have something to say. They're going their separate way. Yes, you are to blame. It is such a shame but you'll have two Christmases, yay! Once again, I've never read a divorce joke I didn't like. I went to the Denny's nearby. Inside were first suited up guys. A fox grabbed my butt and caused me to not. Now Jack had to read this. <laughs> he sure did. Very cool story, Gigabyte Fox. I hope it's real. Uh. No, I don't. It's always Denny's, isn't it? Always shit going down at Denny's. If I had a nickel for every time a fox grabbed my butt in a Denny's, I'd be a rich boy. After a long week at work, I get paid. On a good night with her, I get laid. But nothing is better, and nothing is wetter, than the refreshment of a Gatorade. Oh, paid late Gator. I, I'm losing it. I didn't know where this was going after the first two lines, and I very much should have. I used to spam this like six years ago all the time. I'm old. It's too hard to get into Yai. I'll feature your joke. What a lie. I tried for two years. It brings me to tears. Please, like if you cry every time. Oh wow, look at all those pity likes you got. Oh, boo freaking who? Some people have been trying for six years and they're not complaining. Oh, maybe they are, I just, I just don't see it. There once was a forehead called Jack who used common so his content won't lack. Now he's doing them blind, so his mods have to find all the answers. God damn, what a hack. It's me. People will not even try to make an attempt for this guy. They either don't know, or they can't make one. No, I might be the only good reply. He thought that his limerick was great, and he started to self-filate. But in the last line, there ended up nine, when really, there should have been eight. I never noticed there was a syllable count for limericks. Wow, I'll bet SUNY official uh, is feeling real dumb right now. That's why limericks are hard. Very specific rhythm. And you can't really deviate from it. Otherwise, you end up with egg on your face like SUNY official. There was a young man accused he had limericks and haikus confused. He thought that was fair, so wrote down a pair. Ended with both of them fused. I hated this. I hated reading that. I hated experiencing it. it. I guess it does make sense. It's just very, it's very hard. There was a young man accused. He had limericks and haikus confused. He thought that was fair, so wrote down a pair, ended with both of them. Okay, you know what? This is genius. I can't get mad at this. This is actually borderline genius. This is really impressive, but I didn't laugh. Minus two yai tokens. There once was a man so unready, it made his knees weak and arms sweaty. <laughs> 
Damn it. He thought he'd get better, but barfed on his sweater and shouted, oh no, mom's spaghetti. May this be the start of turning all of Eminem's raps into fun little limericks. Hell, any rapper's raps. There once was a fetus named Bjorn, but sadly, he never was born. Now his unused attire need new feet to admire. Baby shoes for sale. <laughs> I cried all over again. This one's my favorite so far. Oh. I always thought that famous six word story needed rhyming lore. I work in a pensions company, so I'll share my favorite spicy story from the bereavements team. Oh God, a lady once called in from Fife. Her partner had passed on in life. She wanted to mention a claim on his pension, but the next caller in was his wife. Yikes. It was the biggest cliffhanger in history. You can't just end on this. I need the rest of the story told in about 30 more limericks. GLaDOS gave me some tests I must try. If I failed them, she said I would die. But she promised to make a delicious moist cake, though I found out the cake was a lie. Wow, is it 2009 again? Where we're doing cake is a lie jokes? The first classic started the rest. The second one's probably the best. The third you can skip. The fourth is a trip. But where's the fifth Shrek? I'm depressed. All these lines are accurate, yeah. The day they release the trailer for Shrek 5, I will shut down everything and make another frame by frame reaction video. It will be two hours long and I will enjoy every second of it. There once was a man named Jim. He knew he was always quite slim. One day he found out as he walked all about, there's a plum bob overhead. He's a sim. Why, why did this one get it? Looks like I have a whole team to fire now. Now, 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 now. <laughs> There once was a man with a curse. He had part of a gift for the verse. What he wrote was quite good, and it rhymed where it should, except for the last line, which never quite seemed to fit in. That's a cute spin on a classic. That's a terrible curse, very unsatisfying for all parties involved. You want some limericks? We're on it. But you've put bees in everyone's bonnets. Some of us aren't poets, and you damn well know it. What next? Shall we write you a sonnet? No, sonnets aren't nearly as fun to say. And they barely rhyme. They only rhyme, but like, you know, phonetically. There once was a place so bitter, the strongest of heroes would shiver. Well, what do you know? I'm telling you, bro, this land was an app named Twitter. It is true. Everyone on Twitter does think they're a hero. It is a miserable fucking place. A nice guy thinks you're a waifu, and he wants to try to woo you with a tip of his hat and a jiggle of fat. Would you give him a little more ooh -oo? Lovely ode to neck beards. About time they got theirs. Thank you, Mr. 77 Pudding. No offense, that sounds like the most neck beard name imaginable. My name is Mr. 77 Pudding. <laughs> that was heinous and hideous. So what do we learn? That's right, nothing. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Please subscribe, divorce your parents. Also, click up here to see the previous episode. Uh, here's a clip. What's your first Sona? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need a, a little more context. You can't just send me a deep web screenshot. This looks like a Polish film poster. Life, liberty, and the first suit of happiness. <laughs>